The internet has been thrown into a frenzy. In fact, the video has gone viral. In the video, we saw an House of Representative member from Abia State assaulting an Uber driver. Or oh, because of what? Because the Uber driver said, Sir, I cannot come into your house. Can you come outside to receive your package? And the... The House of Representative member obviously took offense and started saying, do you know who I am? I can make you disappear. <laughs> and he even went as far as saying, call anybody you want to call. In fact, call the Inspector General of Police. That is even belittling the Inspector General of Police. I can make you disappear and nothing will happen. That statement, ah, that statement hikes me. I'm like, gosh. Please, should we even ask him, like, how many people have you made disappear as a representative member to start with? Because the boldness in which he said it, you would think that he had made a lot of people disappear, like anybody that gets on his nerve, and nothing will happen. He says a lot about us as a country. He says a lot about, you know, our system. It means that you can do and undo in this country as long as, you know, you are someone of cannibal, a person of importance in this country. You can do and undo. You can do whatever you want to do and you go score free. Nothing will happen. That was what the man said. According to him, I can make you disappear and nothing will happen. Do you know who I am? Oh, because you are, you are an House of Representative member. You think you are special. You want to be treated specially. And when he didn't get that special treatment, he felt that he was being disrespected. While obviously the boat driver was just telling him their policy, the company policy. Um, a while ago, we saw that, you know, uh, for two or three times, both drivers would go and deliver items and you find out that they were kidnapped, they were killed, in fact. Uh, I think that was that happened like two, two, or, or two years ago, a situation where an, uh, uh, an Uber driver went to deliver goods and they were killed. And, and I think from then, the, the company policy now became that if they want to go and deliver any item to any customer, they don't have any rights to enter the building or the residential or uh, company, whatever, they cannot enter. You are the one as a customer that needs to come outside to, to take your package. Anyway, before we delve right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, Kindly click on the subscribe button. Most importantly, help us click on the like button as well. That way, we are encouraged to put out more reliable and authentic news. Breaking news, police arrest Reb Ikwe over assault on boat driver. The Federal Capital Territory FCT Police Command has arrested Honorable Alexandra Ikwe, a lawmaker representing Abanos and South Federal Constituency of Abia State for allegedly assaulting a boat driver, Mr. Stephen Abuashewoya. According to a statement released by the FCT Police Command spokesperson, SP Josephine Ade, the incident occurred when Abuashewoya delivered a package to Igwe's residence with a dispute arising over the delivery method. Ikwe allegedly slapped the driver and made derogatory comments about the Inspector General of Police. The FCT Police Command expressed concern over Igwe's attitude, stating that he is undergoing questioning at the Maitama Police Station. Preliminary investigations indicate that Mr. Abowashia was delivering a package to Honorable Igwe when a dispute arose concerning the method of delivery. During this altercation, Mr. Abuwashia was reportedly physically assaulted. The FCT Police Command expresses grave concern over Honorable Ikwe's dismissal attitude towards the Office of Inspector General of Police following the incident. After allegedly slapping the victim, he reportedly remarked with contempt, you can go ahead and call the Inspector General of Police, demonstrating a troubling disregard for the authority of law enforcement. Currently, the suspect is at the Maitama Police Station undergoing questioning, the FCT Police said. 
The incident took place on Sunday at Igwe's Abuja residence. The boat driver, Mr. Aboa Sheya, delivered the package to the lawmaker, but a dispute arose over the delivery method. Igwe allegedly slapped the driver. You are a common boat driver, you are a poor man, and you have pride. The driver quoted the Abia state lawmaker as saying, the driver was subsequently arrested and taken to the Maitama police station where he was denied the right to receive calls. Police officers at the station accused him of going to, to fight a senator in his home. Although released, his car is still in the custody of the police. Um, if not for VDN that, you know, I think posted this video and also petitioned the Nigerian police, this situation might not even have been taken up by the Nigerian police because the House of Representatives member has now been arrested. But at first, when this happened, the House of Representatives member was the one who called the Nigerian police to come and arrest this innocent man. He was arrested, detained for three hours. You know, his phone was seized. He could not make any call. He could not even call his family members. This just, you know, exposed, you know, how these politicians you know these said politicians these people that we say we have elected into positions how they can abuse and misuse their power and how very gullible the nigerian police can be all because you know this man has offended uh, a very important person very important personality according to them or politician they arrested the man without even you know having any tangible uh, claim against him, how they could say was he went to the house of a senator to fight a senator <laughs> without even getting any evidence just because a senator or a, an house of representative member has said so, they arrested him. Which means these are Nigerian police, they are just at the beck and call of our politicians. So, where is the hope of a common man? Tell me. Your rights can be abused at any time. Unless you have money to give out, but if you don't have money in this country, the laws, our constitution, everything favors only, it favors only the rich. It favors only the rich. But when it comes to the average Nigerian masses, normal, poor Nigerians, hey, we have no rights. Let's just put it that way. Because your, your, your rights can be taken away from you at any time. This man without committing any crime or without committing any crime, he was detained for three hours or because uh, an House of Representative member, who does not, he does, to start with, he does not even know whether he's an House of Representative member or a senator because in the video, just in the short length of the video I watched, he addressed himself as a senator and in the same breath, he also said he was an House of Representative member. So which one are you? Which one are you? And this is a young man. He's also a very young man as well. And you are claiming that it was rude to you. So you're expecting him to take the package and come into your building to deliver it to you as my lordship, sir, that you are. Or because you're a senator. If you now become the president of a country, what will you do? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> that, seemed to, that sentence alone as... Uh, it, it just seemed to be like the most commonly used word in Nigeria. Even celebrities, uh, very popular people, any smart thing, do you know who I am? Even person we don't know who in be safe, go they ask, do you know who I am? <laughs> you all, thank you very much for always listening. Let me have your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.